to thank you for coming on the show. How can how can people learn more about what you're doing, this important work in world Christianity, really expanding our minds to see the work of God so that we can join him in it so that his kingdom might continue to expand and flourish around the world? How can people follow you? Oh, thanks. Um, well, I have some resources in addition to my book, Polycentric Missiology. I also did one called Majority World Theologies, which came out in 2018. And also, I, you know, a lot of these people we've mentioned here, Laman Sane, uh, Andrew Walls, Todd Johnson, Dana Roberts, Philip Jenkins, uh, read their stuff. The Jehu Hansiels, um, there's so much good stuff. Um, Rene Padilla. And um, in addition to that, uh, listen to these podcasts like this one, but there's there's other ones out there. Um, I have an episode on the Missiology podcast, and so you can listen to that as well as some other missiologists who have a lot to contribute. Um, but it, it wasn't as fun. You can you can just tell us. It wasn't as yeah. fun. As <laughs> we laugh say, more. <laughs> this one's just so much. Travis, I just enjoy this one so much more. <laughs> not throwing shade, not throwing shade, not trying to do that. Um, anyway. But, but these these conferences also still exist. Lausanne has ongoing conferences. So they don't just have these like giant congresses every you know few decades. They also have annual conferences that are specific to things like business as mission or diaspora or you know whatever uh, you are looking for. And you can join in some of these conversations as well. So and they have so many resources on their websites with disability and mission, business and mission. I mean, they, they have all these different things. Yes. And written by some of the smartest kingdom people that we'll ever meet from all different cultural backgrounds to help us grow in our relationship with God and again join Him in what He is doing around the world. Yeah. Can I also say this? Sorry, just to sure, go ahead. Um, you know, polycentrism. One of the important things about it is not just missions, but also just is is to understand God better as theology. And so, you know, I, I tell people. If people want to get to know me, um, how do you get to know me? Now, the most obvious answer is to spend time with me. But I would argue that that will only give you a slice of who I am because I'm going to talk to you according to uh, where we have commonalities, right? Mm -hmm. So I said, if you ask my mother about me, she'll tell me, you know, tell you about how I was as a kid. Uh, you ask my wife about me and she'll tell you how I am as a partner and a lover. You talk to my students about me. They'll tell you how I am as a teacher. You talk to my colleagues. They might tell you about my publications. You talk to, you know, my best friend. He'll talk, tell you about, the, you know, us goofing off, going to baseball games or whatever. Every single person sees a different picture of who I am. And it's not because I'm disingenuous. It's because people interact with others on the level that's appropriate. That's that's not disingenuous. Um, it would be highly inappropriate for me to treat my wife like my students or my mother like my wife or you know any of these things. You can't, you have to do the thing that's appropriate. And so in the same way, all these cultures around the world all have a different perspective on God. And I know that the Western world can sometimes recoils and says, oh, it's relativism. But I'm like, no, like, look, there are four gospels right? Four Gospels have four different cultural perspectives of Jesus. There's not just one, right? They do not, uh, we don't only have one super, some people try to conflate all four Gospels. I'm like, no, don't do that. Because then you miss the Jewishness of Matthew, or you miss the Greekness of Luke, or you miss the Romanness of Mark, or, you know, all of these things are important. Every culture, we need African theology, we need Asian theology, we need uh, Latin American theology, we need Western theology. And even Western theology is not monolithic. There's Western theologies, mm -hmm. theologies, African theologies. Because we have so many color cu cultures and everything, so, right? Yeah. If you put all of them together, you start to get a picture of God. But if you only see it one slice, you're only seeing a, a fraction of who our global God is. So let's talk together and let's unify and let's 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 learn more about this God that we love. Amen and amen. Alan, thank you for coming on Apollo's Water. You got it. Thank you for having me.